In this edition of ICIT Fellow Insights, we'll speak with Mike Ainsworth, an ICIT Fellow and Director of Public Sector Engineering at Sky High Networks, on how cloud access security brokers are changing the way organizations manage data and secure their cloud environments. Hi, I'm Mike Ainsworth, ICIT Fellow, CISSP, and Director of Field Engineering for Sky High Networks. You know, to put it simply, the cloud has permanently and fundamentally forever changed the way people think about working with data. If they want to create a document, why would I go log on to my machine and log on to VPN if I can do it in cloud from my phone easier? If I want to share a file and I already have it in cloud, why would I download it and email it to somebody if I could simply create a link and then distribute that link through the um, provider that I created the document in? And then also, if I you know, want to back up data from my machine, a lot of people are even turning to cloud solutions to do that, things like Dropbox. The trouble is that when I do that, the data goes north-south. And north-south is how we in IT talk about um, the perimeter of how uh, data leaves the secure part of your network to the unsecure part of your network. So what we have here is an east-west sort of paradigm where the data is originated in cloud beyond that perimeter and then it is collaborated external to that perimeter. So really IT looking at the sort of south side of that perimeter never really has true visibility for what's going on using traditional security tools. CASB or Cloud Access Security Broker as it's come to be known is a suite of capabilities that generally provides four main features to cybersecurity. Uh, the first feature is visibility, being able to understand what cloud applications people are using in general, as well as kind of looking at the risk associated with using those services. So if I'm using a service, what does that mean to the organization in terms of overall risk impact? Did you know that the average federal organization that we work with today is using upwards of 80 high risk services that they don't even know about? And that happens because of misclassification of cloud services using traditional perimeter technologies. Then another thing we want to look at is threat protection. If I'm using cloud services, I want to think about how I'm monitoring the interactions with those services. Sky High about six months ago detected a major attempted um, uh, coordinated attack, uh, attempted uh, deny, uh, sorry, brute force login attack against Office 365 across many of our customers. So we detected um, uh, everybody that was really in kind of the finance uh, industry within our customer base had this sort of coordinated brute force attack attempt from a single source. And we were able to see that as sort of the single um, provider of serv um, security services to um, all of the um, uh, participants in our uh, you know, CASB program. You know, the most common misconception, I think, is that because people are just hearing about it oftentimes for the first time, a lot of people think it's a very new technology and they want to kind of sit back and wait for it to mature a little bit. And um, the truth is that CASB was first um, introduced to the market in 2011. So it has been around for a while and already 40% of the country's Fortune 500 um, uh, companies are using CASB technology today. Uh, we have been on the uh, FedRAMP program now for, um, uh, well, let's see, April, so almost uh, 18 months now, yeah. yeah. So Sky High being the kind of first to market within CASB has aggregated a tremendous amount of information over the years, and that is all available through an online portal that is called the cloud-security-university. So if I were to go to skyhighnetworks.com, forward slash cloud-security-university, I can have access to everything from Cloud 101 to uh, how do I think about cloud in risk terms to how do I um, set up a CASB architecture using reference architectures approved by Gartner. Yeah, you know, I think the mission statement of ICIT of cultivating a cybersecurity renaissance within the critical infrastructure community is a very important one, something that we take to heart because if I think about how cloud is now the preferred application development and delivery platform today and in the future, foreseeable future anyway, then um, we need to be able to secure for critical infrastructure uh, those applications that are going to be delivered via cloud and we believe CASB is uh, our best chance at doing that. So we're happy to contribute our experience and expertise and contribute to the conversation.